a lot about decades of fossil fuel misinformation and disinformation campaigns that have in large part got us to this place. So please welcome Naomi Oreskes. Well, it's, yeah, it's incredible to be here with all of you today. And I have to say, I've given hundreds and hundreds of talks to thousands and thousands of people. I'm much more nervous. Okay, I'm much more nervous today than I normally am when I talk in public. Because the bottom line is, we don't want to be here. None of us want to be here. We want to be in our labs, we want to be in the field, we want to be with our students, we want to be doing the work that we were trained and educated and raised to do, which is science. It's the work of understanding the natural world, understanding how this beautiful, amazing, and complicated world works, and using that information to make the world a better place for all of us, to make it safe, and to protect the natural environment that God or creation or the universe gave us. That's what we want to do, but we are at a moment in time, a moment in history, where we have to do something else as well, and that's stand up and be counted. This is a frightening moment. We have seen in the last few weeks how the reins of the federal government are being handed over to the fossil fuel industry. We are looking at the creation of an American oligarchy run by the very people who have created the situation that is now threatening our own health, our own well-being, and our own prosperity. And we have to get that message out. We have to stand up and we have to say that as scientists, it's not enough just to do our science. We have to get out and explain to people why this science matters to them, to their lives, to their jobs, to their communities, to their health and well-being, and to their prosperity, because climate change is going to cost every American a lot of money. And ExxonMobil is going to go to the Russian Arctic and make trillions, and we, the American people, are going to be picking up the pieces and paying the bill. And that's not okay. So, what I want to say to everyone who's here today, it's absolutely fantastic you're here, but it's just the first step. As someone just said, don't get depressed, don't get upset, get organized, get to work. We have work to do. I see that Citizens Climate Lobby are here. They are amazing, on the ground, grassroots, fighting for a price on carbon. The single most important thing we can do, because this is a difficult, complicated issue, but the single most important thing we can do is to put a price on carbon so we all pay the true cost of fossil fuels. And Citizens Climate Lobby is out there working in every state of this union, mobilizing Republicans, Democrats, and independents to work for that. Please join Citizens Climate Lobby, or if you don't want to join them, join 350.org, join Mothers Out Front, join the Voter Participation Project, but join something. If we work together, we can change this. We can turn this great battleship of our country around, but it means every one of us has to get to work. A lot of us have been a little bit complacent. A lot of us, especially scientists, have thought it's not our job, it's someone else's job. But it is our job. It's all of our jobs. So please, pick an organization of your choice. All the last couple of weeks I've been tweeting about all kinds of great organizations. Donate time, donate money, but do something. Don't get depressed. Get to work. Thank you very much.